That was indeed a fun one last night. Now it's getting us ready for the series to start in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Back here with Joe and Aaron, a public service announcement for our betters out there as it pertains to the NBA playoffs. Some do's and don'ts, if you will, to share with our people. So, Aaron, what is something you encourage betters to do in the NBA playoffs? Identify one person that loves to zigzag. Mm. So last season we had talked about this multiple times on the show with Anthony Davis. He's all over the map in terms of the postseason. Look at this. You know how many times we showed this <laughs> after each and every game. So if you zigzag a little bit and fade them in different spots, it's the same thing with Max Struess and his made three. Somebody actually in the hallway was like, remember last season Max Struess went over, then under, then over, then under? Yep, it worked. So identify some of these guys. It's not going to happen with every guy, though. But there's another side to this coin. Aaron, I'll start with you again. What's something you don't want our betters doing this postseason? Don't unload in game one. I mean, these <laughs> playing games are not. Come on, that's what I was saying. Keep your money in your pocket. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't want to lose it all in the first game. Uh, it's going to be difficult to recoup. But reason being is you have to see how these teams match up because, like I mentioned earlier in the show, Going back to the regular season, while yes, you can draw some conclusions for that, I feel like the postseason is just a totally different ball game, different atmosphere, and also they're finding different ways to adjust. So maybe a big time player, like an example last night, Joel Embiid, he might not be there in terms of his points, but the team still got the win. Their goal is to just win these games by any means necessary. So don't unload in the first game, see how they match up. Yeah, I'm gonna